And hello my fellow Vault Dwellers, welcome to another Fallout 76 farm video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you a location where you can easily farm up a large number of animal hides for leather. Now why this might be important you might be asking, well if you're trying to specialize in a certain armor set but you want specific or even better mods for that armor set, the most reliable way to get those is unfortunately to craft a bunch of that particular armor and then scrap it so that you can have a chance of getting the mods off of the scrapping. Now since most armor pieces, maybe even all armor pieces, I'll have to check, require vast amounts of leather in order to keep crafting them over and over again, you'll need a steady supply. So with this location and server hopping, you can go ahead and grab as much as you need. Now the location that you're going to want on the map is treetops. Now that is southeast of Top of the World, and that is southeast of Vault 76 for reference. Now when you get here, there will sometimes be higher level enemies. Uh, I've mostly seen Snallygasters, which will give you a little bit of hide as well. Uh, I've seen uh, giant mega, or I'm sorry, mega sloths, uh, which will give you hides as well. So also fun. Now when you get up in here, you're going to be looking for bundles of hides. And they can spawn in several different locations. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, looting our way up through. Now, these hides will always be here unless somebody else has already picked them over. Now, as you can see, there's a Yao Guai hide, all right, and then that trough is empty. Here's a mole rat hide, and then check the beds as well, like you'll see a hide bundle there. You can also get some plastic and leather here as well if you need either one of those. Uh, there is quite a bit of plastic and leather, I'm sorry, plastic and lead. As you make your way up through here, you'll find uh, various amounts of those as well but we're here for the leather. So you just keep your eyes open, keep grabbing what you can. Here's another trough, as you can see, lots of mole rat hides, easy peasy. And then we'll keep going. Okay, nothing in this trough, but this one's got a rad stack hide. Okay, keep going up. Now the amounts of hides you'll find here will vary uh, from visit to visit as well. Uh, depends upon how many of the bundles actually spawn and how many of them have been taken by other players. So you can always, you may want to do this a couple of times till you get a feel for it. All right, there's some more there. There's some more. There's a hide bundle there, and then there's two rad stags that are actually hanging, so you can take them the, for the meat and the hide off of them as well. All right, and I'm pretty sure that that's all the hide that there is in this, but we'll go all the way to the top just to make sure. Usually once I get to that floor, that's pretty much it if I remember correctly. And then I will show you on the workbench that was down below just how much we picked up. Oh, there's a backwoodsman as well. See, and there's a bunch of batteries. There were some batteries down below for uh, lead as well. And yes, I do believe that was everything. And if you come all the way to the top, there's also this stuff as well. So let's go back down to the scrap bench real quick, and I will show you how much lead we got from this very easy, very quick run. All right, there it is. So let's go ahead and scrap out. And we got 65 leather from a two and a half minute run. And it will be even faster once you're doing it and you get a feel for it and you're not trying to explain it to other people. So. If you found this uh, hide and leather farming route to be of use to you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I am putting out two videos every single day at 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. for Fallout 76 material. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for future comment, just leave that in the comments down below for me. I do respond to every comment and question. Thanks for watching, and travel safe in the wasteland, guys.